I want to start off our children's message with a question. Raise your hand if you've ever taught somebody how to do something new. Have you ever done that? Yeah? What have you taught someone? What did you teach somebody, Ruby? Can you think of what that was? Very good. I taught someone the difference between good and bad while you're at church camp. That's very, very good. Sam, have you ever taught somebody how to do something new? How to play baseball. Absolutely. You know, if you meet a friend who's never played baseball before, and you want to teach them how to swing a baseball bat, there's all kinds of things that you have to teach them. Let me ask you a question. If someone came up to you, and they said, I don't know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Can you teach me how to do that? Ruby, do you think you can teach someone how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's go through this. How do we make a peanut butter, sand, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? What's the first step? What would you do first, Sam? Bread and jelly. You need bread, peanut butter, and jelly. So we've got the ingredients. And the plate. What's the very first the very first thing we would want to do though? What is that, Bella? What's the very first thing we do? Do we just take the peanut butter and start eating it? And take the jelly and start eating that next? No? Oh, so you put the bread down on the bottom, and then what do you do with that? What do you do next? Put the jelly first, then the peanut butter, and then another piece of bread. Okay, so. And you gotta smash them together, right? That's what makes the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now, now you turn it, and then you can slice it up, and you can eat all kinds of different ways. I love peanut butter and jelly sandwich, by the way. Well, one day, when Jesus was praying, his disciples knew that Jesus was the best prayer in the whole world. They noticed that Jesus was always praying. And they noticed that Jesus' prayers, the things he was saying, were better than anything they would ever heard before. And you know what they asked Jesus to do? They said, Lord, please, please, please teach us how to pray. I think that's a great question because Jesus is the best prayer ever. And believe it or not, the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples 2,000 years ago is the same prayer that we say every Sunday here in church. It's called the Lord's Prayer. And as we get ready to end our time up here this morning, rather than doing our typical prayer, we're going to end with that Lord's Prayer once again, because Jesus teaches us this is the best prayer. You don't have to be long. You don't have to just keep talking and talking and talking. Jesus taught his disciples three important things. Every prayer should include praising God. Saying, God, you are wonderful, you are mighty, you are holy. And every prayer includes a praise of God, you're on the right track. Every prayer should also include things that you want from God. <coughs> now that might be food, or that might be a good day in school, or that might be doing good in baseball, or some sport that you might be doing. That might be a lot of different things, but we should also ask God for the things that we would like from Him. And finally, the last thing that makes a good prayer, three things, three simple things. We've got bread, peanut butter, and jelly. It's the same thing with prayer, asking for God's forgiveness. And forgiveness is saying to God, even though I try my best, I've fallen short. Even though I try not to sin, I have sinned. And all of us sin. Every single one of us sin. So every prayer should include those things. Praising God, asking God for what we need, and then asking for forgiveness. You guys think you can do that? I bet you can. So maybe tonight, before you go to bed, try one of those prayers on your own. Include those three things and just give it a go, right? We're going to try and pray to God. Because even though you guys are young... Do you think God listens to you up in heaven? Without a doubt. When you pray, God is listening. And God is smiling. And God loves. Loves. He's got like a million years. That's ears. That's right. God loves. Loves, loves when you guys pray to him. Yes, Sam.
What about opening your window? Open your window and pray. Inside. Yeah, you can pray anywhere you want to. It doesn't matter. God hears whatever is inside your heart. Even You don't even have to say it out loud that God hears. All right, let's fold our hands. And we're going to have the whole church pray. Because this is the Lord's Prayer. And we're going to pray this twice. We're going to pray it once right now. And then once again later in our worship service. And as we pray this, I want us to remember, this is the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to temptation, 